add a little more color to any dish with some fresh veggies and fruit that are all grown locally. And there's a local farmer's market that has that and much more. That's right. Your produce man, Michael Marks, is hanging out at the yeah, Auburn Farmer's it. Market, checking it all out. Whoa, Michael Marks, good morning. We can see you. We can see you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, come on over because uh, I've got the flower child here, a uh, 60 year old flower child here. He's growing flowers, growing so many things. He also has the stinky rose. We're going to talk to him about the stinky rose. Uh, but when I first came up here and I, I, I saw the stack of beets, I got to show you something. Beat, with these the beets. Beat, come the beets. on over here, real quick. No beet song today, Michael Marks? Beep, 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 beep. There you beep, go. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, you remember my song. Uh, anyway, uh, who, who carries around uh, their own tape measure? You do. <laughs> Right? Who carries her? Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, the contractor does. <laughs> anyway, when I saw the when I saw these beets, when you look at these beets, what do you see? I see perfection because you know beets. You should never buy a beet that's that's more than three inches in diameter. These are all perfect beets, and these are the beets that I would get not only for the beet, but also for the greens in, on the top. Let me show you something. Look at look at that right there. That looks like the webbed foot of a goose, doesn't it? That, that's why the beets are part of the goose foot family, right along with spinach. Oh, and chard is chard is also part of the goose foot family. So there's geese in the produce department. Beautiful colored chard here. Uh, but I was really interested in the garlic here. Come on over here. I want to introduce you to the farmer real quick. Uh, look at the different varieties of, of garlic he has. How many different varieties do you grow? Uh, six. Six different varieties. Now, why do you grow different varieties? What's the purpose? Flavor intensity. Flavor intensity? Yes. So your customers have learned to come to you for the different garlics, is absolutely. that right? Absolutely. Yeah, they like, uh, we have customers that absolutely love garlic, and so the more intense the flavor, obviously, the less you need, and so we offer six different varieties for the customer's uh, taste. Buds. That is amazing. Take a look at these. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, you got the, the Duga? Duganski. Duganski, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So it's a um, it's a medium spicy garlic, has a little bit of purple in uh, the clove, and uh, you can cook that down. And when you cook it, the flavor intensifies and the heat goes down. Really? So it makes a. Really What's your most intense garlic here? If I really wanted some garlic flavor, what am I going to get? So this here is the Transylvanian. And Transylvania. It, and it yes. also scares off the vampires. Okay. <laughs> and so, but this is probably the most intense that we have right now. Now we do have another um, uh, garlic that we have sold out of, and it's silver white. And, silver uh, white, so yes. one I'm going to come for, right? Right. Exactly. Hey, thank you so, so much. So wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, the shirt. Where'd the shirt come from? Oh, where, I get them all <laughs> handmade for me. Thank you. I need a garlic shirt, by the way. Hey, hey, uh, back to you guys. But uh, in the next hour, wait till I show you what I found here. All right, sounds good. Your shirt looks scrumptious, by the way.